Alrighty, hello and welcome back to uh, this wonderful playthrough, a blast into the past as we go and discover what the thread of dreams has for us in this old game. And so I had to go back and defeat the the Eastern Dungeon because for some reason the game didn't save. I'm not sure why. Um, but yeah, so now, if you remember from the last time, um, the sage told us, okay, I'm going the wrong way, but the sage told us that there was a powerful item on the east side of Lake Hylia. And I'm pretty sure that's the lake um, because it's the only like large body of water. And if you zoom in here, you can see that there's like a little cave entrance over there. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go over here. But first I should probably get out of this because I'm probably in the wrong area. So I'm just running through here. Oh, there's a cave. I'll just go in. Oh, this is probably one of my favorite soundtracks. Okay, so there's a bunch of fairies here. I'm not gonna disturb them. I don't need any health. Um, yeah, so we can just watch them flutter around. Um, yeah, I love this music here and finding these secret entrances, but okay. I wonder what happens though, if we gather them all. Let's see, oops, see Daisy is not what I meant to do. Um, let's go, because I know my boomerang gathers them. Okay, nothing happened. Sorry, fairies, <laughs> I have now consumed you with my boomerang <laughs> for no reason. Okay. Um, well, let's get out of here. Remember we got these, sh these uh, special running shoes that have this charge attack. So there's gonna definitely be puzzles now where we'll have to use that mechanic probably, or just more hidden walls. I know there was hidden walls in the castle um, where Okay, so we have to go this way, where we kind of saved Princess Zelda. Um, there was definitely some walls like that, if I remember correctly, but I don't wanna go back there yet. I'm just gonna go through here and I'm just gonna tell you now that I've gotten a lot better with um, the combat. Um, wait, what the hell? I thought I switched to the boomerang. I mean, to the arrow. Okay, I want the arrow. Okay. Boom. Boom. This arrow is so helpful. Can't even begin to explain anyway. So this looks like the place, ooh, flying enemies now. I have no idea what this insignia is on the outside of this cave, but, um, it's either here that it wants us to go, well, the east side, so maybe it's over there, actually. Um, but we might not be able to get there unless we go through this cave. And it seems like there's water, too. I, I don't think we can swim, but there must... Yeah, we definitely can't swim, so it must. we must have some ability later that gives us access to the water. Oh, okay, so this is a merchant. Um, what the hell is this? Don't have an empty bottle, so that's a heart. Bombs. All right. I'm good here. So, you know, we might not even be able to get this um, item. Ouch. We might not even be able to get this item. Until we can have access to water. So I'm gonna go see what's in this house over here. Looks like another fortune teller. 
I ain't interested. Although, I'm kind of interested. Ask him to tell it. Let's see. I love this. Abracadabra, Alakazam, you will open a desert lock with the Book of Mudora. Now I will take 10 rupees. Open a desert lock with the Book of Mudora. That's so cool. Don't know what it means yet, but I'm excited to find out. Um, can I charge this thing? No. So, it seems like I can't get across the river. I mean, the lake. So, let's go seek out um, the next pendant. I think that's the best option for us. Let's see where it is. So, a desert lock. That sounds like it's to the left, over on the bottom left side of the map. So, let's go try for that pendant. Um, based on what the fortune tellers told us. Dun, 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 dun. Man, when I was when I would study or like um, write, can I not break this boulder? No, I cannot. Um, when I used to study or like do some writing, sometimes um, I would listen to remixes of the Zelda themes. Anyone who's a Zelda person, I'm sure, has done the same. And I can't get past that thing either. Okay, so back we go. I'm gonna go down this time. I'm just skipping all the enemies. I'm not much of a, hey! I'm not much of a fighter. You sneaky bastard. Okay. What does this say? This way, desert of mystery. All right, let's do the deserts of mystery. Who's this guy? He looks like a guru. <laughs> Sounds funny. I love these little weird little quirks. I wonder if he'll have a, a purpose later in the game. So there's a cave over there. And this is the desert. I'm just gonna go into that cave first and see what it has in store for us. Oh, we got a fairy. Well, I, I didn't even talk to her. I didn't even talk to her and she healed me up with selfless fairies. All right. I wonder if they regenerate, like if they spawn again after a certain amount of time. Oh, I'm out of arrows. Great. I am out. Holy f <laughs> Um. Okay, I'm gonna switch to my boomerang over here. And we gotta avoid those guys. Yeah. Ooh, there's a heart container over there. Okay, so this is a temple. It looks like the beginning of a temple. Let's see what it says. Okay, it's written in some ancient language that I can do not understand. But I can't m move these things. What if I put a bomb in it? <laughs> what if I just blow it the fuck up? Um, so nothing's gonna happen. I might have to unlock some sort of power or kill this bird, maybe? I keep pressing my map instead of my inventory. Okay. Um, how do I get hit this freaking bird? Okay. It's. It's just circling me. Okay, killing the bird did nothing. So it looks like there's another way up if we go this way. 
Or not. I, I could have sworn there was a way up here. That's what it's on the map. Oh, I have to go a bit further this way. Oh, but there's no connection between, between ouch, the land. Here's another cave though. Could definitely use that fairy now. With me heart so low. Oh, another elder. I am Agnya. Agnya, if you know in Hindu mythology, is the third eye chakra. So we have Sahasrala and uh, Agnya. I mean, that seems like a coincidence. I mean, doesn't seem like a coincidence. <laughs> seems like they definitely took some inspiration. So we have the crown and the third eye. These fabled sages. I sense something is happening in the golden land. The seven wise men sealed. This must be an omen of the great cataclysm foretold by the people of Hylian blood. The prophecy says the hero will stand in the desert holding the Book of Mudora. If you have the Book of Mudora, you can read the language of the Hylia people. It should be in the house of books in the village. You must get it if you are the person who will be the hero. So that's what we're missing. We're missing the Book of Mudora. Of course, the fortune teller told us. We went to the desert without the book, but I guess we needed to talk to the sage to really... So he didn't mark it on our map. So we'll have to find the house of books. Is that what it was called? The house of books in the village. The, okay, do not step on that. Hey, there's a shiny metal object in the desert. Let's step on it. Not the best of ideas. I am so low on hearts. Is the fairy back? <laughs> Yay, she is. Wonderful. Okay. That looks like the place. Because there's a, there's a feathered pen. In there. That looks like the book over there. I think if we do that. Yeah, finally. We got the book. You found the book of Mudora, baby. You can use it to read the ancient language of the Hylia. Score! Yes! I'm so excited. Man, I remember when I was young and playing the Pokemon games, even the Zelda games, like how long it would take me to piece something together and I would never read the... You know, I would never read what... Okay, so the desert's over there. Okay, so I have to go all the way back around. Uh, I would never read what the game text would say. And then I'd get so lost and be wandering around for hours, not knowing what to do. <laughs> it's the most annoying thing. I wonder if anyone else experiences that, experienced that as a kid. Um, I'm not going the wrong, I'm going the wrong way probably. I need to go back up. All right. We are back at the temple, and now we're going to be able to read this using the book. I just have to equip it, I guess. Oh, I know what I have to do. To open the way to go forward, make your wish here and it will be granted. realized I have this. Yeah, baby, we did it. And we're in.
Better give me something. One measly rupee. I want hearts, baby. I messed up. I charged into too many cactuses. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have to stand behind these things. Avoid the eye. Um, actually, let's go over here. Okay. Arrows. Oh man, I'm gonna die. <clears throat> nice, okay, we got some arrows, so now we can sh shoot this if I can aim properly. Got him. So let's see this map. I guess it only unlocks where we've been. So there's a key room over there. We're gonna have to unlock that. We're doing well so far. Um, all right, let's go out here. Let's see what's over this way. Okay, not where we want to be. Can we shoot this thing? No, I cannot. So we're going to go back this way. And I recall, oh, there's the guy. Okay, so I haven't been this way yet. Um, but we just need to explore everywhere, explore our options, see where the best way to go is. So there's a lot of different doorways that we're gonna have to explore. So, uh, got it. You know, I think that we're going to have to split this ouch episode into two. Oh, I remember there was a heart container over here. So you know what? We're just gonna, if we find this heart container, yep, we did. We found a piece of a heart. Okay, I think we're gonna stop it there. Okay, so we are back in the uh, desert temple, I guess you could call it. Um, and yeah, we're just exploring the rooms and today we're gonna go and, wait, oh, I need to, um, equip my arrow first and not go to the map. I keep thinking that the map button is my item button. But yeah, I'm really excited to see how this um, temple dungeon goes. Um, I love just exploring these, these dungeons and um, I'm curious, I wonder what happens if I light these two fire things. Let's check it out. Let's put this uh, lantern, equip that, and we'll use that as our power. Okay, doesn't look like it does anything. So, we will switch back to our arrow and explore this side. So I don't think we've gone into this part. We definitely have not. Um, I think, can we shoot this eyeball? No. Okay, so we're gonna have to time this where we charge here, get the key, dodge, dodge the eye. Let's see if we can speak to 
treasures. I Sahasrala, you must never fail to find all the treasure in each dungeon. Okay. Got it. <laughs> we will find all the treasure, my man. So I'm gonna kill all these people. Hopefully, oh my gosh, hopefully they will give me hearts. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Gotta dodge this guy. Just gonna open all these things. Oh, dodge. Okay, good dodge. Um, yeah, nice. We got a bunch of loot here. So I'm gonna dodge this guy and go into the next room. Okay, so we need a big key. I always am just so curious to light these things up and see if there's any, no, no secret. Okay, so I'll just go back. I think that's a theme that we're gonna constantly be disappointed by that. Um, <laughs> but maybe one day we will have to light up some braziers as they say, to um, to get the secret to the next thing. Um, so shoot this guy. And yeah, I don't um, know where I'm going. I'm really excited to find out um, what treasure this place holds, like what secrets we're gonna unlock. Pick up as many arrows as we can because they're just the most useful thing ever. And I think this is where we went to get our heart container. You know what? I feel like this is a time that calls for the lantern. Nope. <laughs> Again, we have been disappointed. Alright. So let's see. I think we can shoot this thing. I guess not. No. Hmm. Key door. There we go. Very good. So we found that. And looks like we're gonna have to kill out all the enemies in this room. Very easy. What is that? A compass. So all these dungeons end with a boss at the end. Okay. Just run through that. And we got the big key already. <laughs> Easy peasy, ouch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Dodge those babies. And if we recall correctly, we just saw where the big key opens that big chest. Um, so. Everything's going really smoothly so far. We're kind of rich in hearts, rich in arrows. And yeah, everything's going well. Um, okay. Yeah, we go this way. Back to that room with the big chest. Oops. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Okay. Uh, was it this room? No, it was not. It was the room over. This one, I think. Not that one. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Yeah, I think it's this one. I just gotta remember where... Ouch. Ah, I got stuck in here. <laughs> I remember. You open it. Where is that? There's the entrance. Okay. And there's the big chest. Perfect. You got the power glove. You can st feel strength in both hands. You can pick up and carry stones now. So there we go. That seems to have solved our problem. We have now have a another powerful item. That's one of my favorite things about these games too, is discovering all the powerful items. Oh, gotta go open this. Alright, and I think this is the way because, um, oh god, um, because this is where the stones were that we couldn't get past just now that we kind of explored. Any arrows in here? 
No. Okay, so we'll go through, back through here. And can we pick up, are these the stones that they say we can pick up? Um, I don't think so. It must be those other ones outside. Let's get to the notification. All right, so I think this is the stones that they've been talking about. Uh, yep. Okay. So, yeah, we just got past that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do we do here? Oh my gosh. Okay, we just have to avoid these flying tiles. Um, hopefully we get some hearts. There we go. Ouch. Okay, let's get in the door. No! Where are we going to start from? Okay. Good. Thank the Lord that we didn't have this huge reset, so we're just gonna rush right past these guys and straight up the door. So this is a simple, I think, enemy kill where the doors will open once we kill all the enemies. And yeah, just making our way through at a breezy speed. Nothing's really caught us up so far. I just got to get better at dodging those eyes. Like, there's the key that we need. And it looks like we're already at the boss, so that was easy. Just got, I don't want to lose any health. And I just did. Oh, okay, that's, that's not the boss. But there's definitely going to be something here. So we'll have to deal with this guy. Wait, what? How did that not aim up correctly? Come on, Mr. Boom, boom. Okay, now we're gonna have to light these up. I swear, <laughs> if I light all these things up and there's no secret. Yes! I knew it, I, I told you, I predicted that there was gonna be something like that. And here we have it, our secret door has been unlocked. So we're just gonna switch over to our arrows. And this is the boss fight, so let's get into it. Uh, holy shit. Okay, it looks like we're dealing with three giant worms. So. <laughs> I have to learn how to fight these things. Hmm. Well, that was quick. Okay, we're back into the boss fight and this is really gonna be putting our combat test. Oh God, okay, so they shoot out rocks also. I have to avoid the rocks that they shoot out. Man, this is tough. Ouch. Okay, so it looks like their head is vulnerable for a moment. Man. Okay, I'm gonna go for this one over here. Shoot it, hit it. But I can't get hit at the same time. Or else I'm gonna, ouch. This is tough. I'm gonna really have to, and I'm dead. Great, dead again. All right, third time back in the room. Um, let's 
So I really gotta find the moment of attack like that. Um, dodge the rocks, hit the head. Got it. Okay, we're getting way better at this. Uh, got the head. Dodge the rocks. Get this guy. Eh. Dodge rocks. Got him twice. Only got hit by one of the rocks. Got him. Ah, he landed on us. Ugh. Gosh. Let's take our time with it. Yeah, just take it nice and easy. <laughs> and there's the rock that kills us. Alright, let's go for it again. Oh, okay, baby, fourth try. I hope this isn't gonna take us like a billion tries. <laughs> <laughs> and we're dead again. Alright, fifth try. Okay, dodge that, dodge that. Dodge that, dodge that. Dodge the rocks. Alright, we have one heart, half a heart left. And this, and we got hit again. Alright, here we go again. Frickin' worms are gonna be the death of me! <laughs> and that is try five, I think. No! That one was going so well in terms of how many times I hit them. Alright. Yep. Okay. This is gonna be the most calm and calculated I've ever been. Dodge the rocks. Dodge the rocks. Oh my god! Ugh. This time we got it. This time we got it. This time we got it. Come on, easy mechanics. Just dodge the rocks. And when the opportunity presents itself, attack the head. Why is there no health in this boss? Yes, I got one! I got one. Okay, this is the furthest we've ever gotten. Dodge the rocks. Dodge the rocks. Got another one. Come on. Dodge the rocks, dodge the rocks, dodge the rocks, dodge the rocks, dodge the rocks. Okay, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. Oh god. Dodge the rocks. Dodge the rocks. I just have to keep saying it or else I'll forget and get wrapped up in the Yes! Okay, two. That's two. That's two. Dodge rocks. Uh, uh. Oh my god, there's more rocks now. Okay. Keep dodging the rocks. Everything's fine. <laughs> god, I almost got landed on by a uh, dodge the rocks. Come on. Okay, just come on. Just take it easy. Deep breaths. No! Fucking shit. Fucking shit. God, I mean, this is not going well. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. Stupid, stupid worms. My bit. No! <sighs> God. All right. All right. All right. This is our game. This is our game. Good start. Good start. Ouch. I forgot about the rocks. Okay, just remember. It's all about patience. It's about finding weaknesses. Find the right opportunity to strike. My 
like now. <laughs> Alright, get this motherfucker. Dodge the rocks. Oh my god. I wonder actually if it's better to just s go right to where they're spawning. Nope. That did not work for me. I feel like they're coming closer to me. Dodge the rocks, just keep it, keep it steady, boy. Keep it steady. Ow. Keep it steady. Okay, we got one, we got one. Miss that guy completely. Miss that guy too. Does a rock. Got him. Trying to do a little tricky maneuver there, I see. But it won't you won't take me down this time. You won't take me down this time, motherfucker. Fucking centipede pieces of shit. That was that was poor playing by me. Ow! Got hit by the rock. Okay, okay, okay. This is it. 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 Dodge. There's like eight rocks that fucking fly out. Oh god! Far, far, far. Dodge the eight rocks. Hit him! Hit him! Dodge the eight rocks. Oh, he's, he's faster. Come on. This is it. This is it. Hit him! What the hell? Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Please, I cannot die. I cannot die. Yes! 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 We did it. The music should be changed, I still feel stressed. Ah, finally. We did it. We got it. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Ah, you won the Pendant of Power. Your goal of finding three pendants is in sight. Go for the last one. Yes. Oh, yes. That felt so good. Whew, we really earned that one. Wow. Man, the feeling of satisfaction afterwards is so much higher than, like, defeating bosses. Ouch. Defeating bosses in other games. Um, like, more easier games. Like, games today are way too easy. You know, maybe others would call that easy, but... Okay, what's in here? That was awesome. But now we can collect the final pendant. Which is located up there near the waterfall. So we'll go explore that area next time. And I'm so, I'm so psyched, I'm so happy we beat that finally. Um, I mean, it didn't take that many tries. I'm not sure how many it took, maybe like 10, <laughs> 10 tries. Um, definitely harder than the modern Zelda games. Um, yeah, but maybe it's because I'm not used to it. Anyway, we did it, so. We'll see you next time. Peace.